Aloha, welcome back, Be More Brew Crew subscribers. We are here tonight with another brew review. I've got my neighbor James with me yet again for his second review. <laughs> the first one wasn't too bad, was it? No, no, this is uh, this is great. I've been uh, I've been enjoying this, and hey, you know, always like drinking beer. All right, we put him through the torture test for the first one because he didn't like pumpkin ale, but you know, he he got through it. But now we're getting something a little bit closer to his palate, and we are going tonight. With what? Go ahead, introduce this bad boy. This is a Sam Adams Flannel Fest. Um, it is a Munich Dunkel, yep. and um, I am looking forward to it. It's got hints of um, bread, bread, caramel, caramel, and you know this, this is brand new. This just came out with their seasonal pack this and, and autumn. Um, it looks like it's kind of dark, maybe. I don't know. Could be a little chewy. I don't know. It does. It looks. I'm. I'm intrigued because whenever Sam Adams put out something new, it's usually hit or miss for me. So, I'm hearing some good things, but you know, I won't know until we uh, we crack it open and find out. Uh, I got a beer advocate score of 86. Comes in at 5.2 percent alcohol by volume, so it's not too too heavy. It's supposed to be a nice medium bodied uh, dunkel lager. So. We shall see. Sam Adams Flannel Fest. Well, Flannel Fest, tis the season. Yeah, absolutely. Welcome to fall. I'm intrigued because I have been to the Sam Adams Brewery in Boston. I loved it. That's actually where I fell in love with Oktoberfest. And uh, that's absolutely one of my staples every single year is the Sam Adams Oktoberfest. You can't go wrong with Oktoberfest. I look forward to that. But as a snobby beer drinker, I must say Sam Adams is bottom of the barrel for me. I enjoy Sam Adams, but if I were at a party and you offered me like a Coors Light or a Bud Light, I'm going to respectfully decline. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I'm drinking calories, it's going to be well worth it. And Sam Adams, maybe a Modelo. I'll go Modelo. Maybe a Sierra Nevada. I'm good with that. Sierra Nevada Sierra is a Nevada. Kind of step up. Yeah, I, I would feel like Sierra. Sierra is a little step up from this, I think. Yeah, from exactly. Sam Adams. That's kind of where I'm at. You have that at a party for me, I'm there. But Anything lower than a Sam Adams. You offer me a Corona, I'm going to look at you weird. All right, let's open this up. Let's see. All right. There, give it a little sense. Pretty good. I'm yeah. excited. All right. All right. Let's I'm definitely game. fire this up here. <laughs> good color. Rich. Yeah. yeah. All right, so yeah, that has got a nice amber color, it's decent head on it. It's got those nice bubbles coming up. That's fantastic. I don't know if it's quite as dark as, um, as the other beers, but yeah. uh, as the pumpkin we reviewed last time. But uh, this definitely, it still has got a great color to it. Nice amber. Um, looks like it's got a lot of flavor. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm. I can smell that caramel. Yeah, there's definitely tones of, of caramel in there. It smells good. I'm excited because I, I was afraid of this one. Whenever they come out with something new, I always get nervous, but I am definitely looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be a winner. I wonder if they're going to come out with it every year. All right. You ready for it? All right. Ready. Let's go. Cheers. Let's down this baby. Oh, that is pretty fantastic. This is better than I was anticipating. I think Sam Adams had a home run with this one. Yeah, I mean, that, that caramel is great all the way through. Um, you do kind of get that, that like toasted bread kind of malty a, a little bit towards the end of it. But yeah, the caramel notes are, are very significant. And it's just a little bit chewy. Um, it's got a nice body to it and mm -hmm. a nice full flavor. Um, it's not too, too heavy. Here, no, so it give is, you a little it's bit not, more there. Yeah. I'll give you that a lot of the extra there because I took the extra last time. <laughs> but no, this is good. I mean, this has got. I could easily sit down with a six pack of this. I, I would. I would definitely drink multiples of these. This is this is good. For yeah, for being included with the seasonal pack, I thought it was something like they were just trying to throw out there, and you know, like, you know, I, th I thought maybe it was going to be a miss, but I am totally wrong. This is fantastic. I agree. Yeah, I mean, Oktoberfest, I look forward to every single year. But now I've got to say, like, I think I would look forward to this flannel fest every autumn. This is definitely going to make me excited. Hopefully they can keep including this in 
their seasonal autumn pack because that's a good beer. I mean, I would even probably go pick up a six pack of that alone for me. I don't know if you pick up a whole case, but I'm not a case guy. I'm a mix and match kind of guy. I want to go to yep. total one. I mean, if that was in a mixed case, I would definitely, that, that would, yeah. that would be a winner. Yeah. See, for me, like, I don't ever buy, do you, well, you're, you buy beers by the case. I know you do, <laughs> which is fine. But for me, like, I'll pay the premium. Like when I go to total wine or to like uh, grape and grain or something, I totally make the mix and match four and six packs. I, I pay the premium, but I, I always like drinking new stuff and trying out new stuff. I, I do like a value, but I tell you what, I actually I've been uh, I've been up in my uh, up in my dollar amount, and um, I've been trying some different stuff that they've been doing from some of the tastings up the street. Yeah, and um, I think so you, are you a grape and grain? Is that where you guys? Uh, yeah, you go? grape, grape and grain. After There's some the awesome guys awesome there. Grape and grain, fantastic. Yeah. They are the the brothers there that run that are amazing. Um, they really are. They're they're so knowledgeable about their beers, and, yep. and you walk right in there. They're like there to help you right away, and they are, they are definitely the most helpful, uh, and they they appreciate your business. So li- little plug for them. No, but, um, in another reviews, I pointed them out. Yeah, because that that's definitely one of my go tos when I just need something up the street. They're awesome if you are in the the ball. And so a lot of a lot of Fridays and Saturdays they have tastings there. Mm-hmm. And um, I was there a few weeks ago for a, a hazy IPA tasting, and uh, fantastic. Um, we had. Uh, you remember what brewery? It was um, uh, the other half. Okay. O- or it was other half. Okay. Not the other half. It was other half. Uh, they had a couple of different IPAs. All of them were fantastic, and um, they were definitely hmm. in the pricier range. I think a six pack was the. In a twenty dollar range. Uh, four four pack was yeah it was was probably um, sixteen dollars something like that. Yeah, <laughs> people don't appreciate it when I when I have people over to do these beer reviews and you get like a can of beer that costs like five or six dollars <laughs> or a bottle of beer that's five or six dollars. Like I hope my wife doesn't watch this or else she'll shoot me. But <laughs> yeah, like you you spend a good amount of money for a good beer that you like and it's just it's fantastic. That's why like once you drink really good beer, it's hard to go back to drinking the. It corona is. and the course like you said your daughter's a corona girl <laughs> dang that made me well, cringe I, you know the the teenagers you gotta you know the just... teenagers <laughs> <laughs> oh man i know she's in college or whatever i'll be realistic okay she's a college student whatever. college the college students the college students you gotta you know you gotta you gotta train them right it's it's quality over quantity well okay so have you ever been to the sam adam brewery in boston i have not I have. oh if you ever go up to boston that was a fantastic brewery tour like i really had a good time at the sam adams brewery and a little hint so when you go on the brewery tour through sam adams and you get to the tasting room at the end sit in the back of the room it's a little inside knowledge because when you sit at the back what they do is they pull they pour full pictures of like all their different beers and whatever like their seasonal beers are really? at time of the year and they pass them back through the table, right? But when you're sitting at the back, <laughs> everyone's taking these little pours like this. <laughs> and I've read this ahead of time. And yeah, well, then when you're sitting at the back, you have these like three quarters full pitchers <laughs> just for yourself. And you're just sitting there pouring beers left and right. And you are toasted by the time you leave. <laughs> and it's like the tour is not that expensive at all. So That's amazing. I, I have to keep that in mind next time I go up there. That's yeah. a great tip. Maybe we should make a trip. That'd be pretty cool to celebrate. Hey, maybe we celebrate our ten year neighbor anniversary. <laughs> coming up on it, we'll go up to Boston and go to Sam Adams. We we could do a live review from there. The hell yeah, that sounds awesome. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, tonight we had a good time uh, with this Sam Adams Flannel Fest, or at least I did. But we have to now rate it out of five because that's what we do here down in the bar for the Be More Brew Crew. So I went first last time on our last review. So this okay. time. You are going first, so out of five, what do you give the Sam Adams Flannel Fest? Well, so this is um, for, so for me, this is a this is a fantastic beer. Um, it's not the kind of beer that I drink on a on a regular regular basis, so um, maybe a little off for that. But um, I'm gonna go. This is a four point two for me. A four point two. That's a good score because you scored the nice pumpkin ale, which was the number one pumpkin ale. <laughs> a three. All right, so I'm on this Flannel Fest. You know what? I'm going 4.25 on this Flannel Fest because I really enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to this next year along with the Oktoberfest. And yeah, I mean, this was this was a fantastic beer. I mean, considering that this isn't, you know, a $6 bottle of beer and you can get these pretty cheap, like I could easily see myself sitting down with a six pack of this, seriously. Yeah, absolutely. 
All right. Well, thank you again for joining us here down at the bar. Uh, we would love for you to be part of our Be More Brew Crew family, so please like and subscribe the video and uh, watch all of our future reviews. We've got plenty coming your way. And until next time, from the bar, aloha, everybody. Peace out.